Just minutes ago, we heard from Minnesota's DFL party chair, Ken Martin, about the election. A short time ago, I spoke with the chair of the Minnesota Republican Party, Jennifer Carnahan. Take a look. And joining us right now is GOP, Minnesota GOP party chair, Jennifer Carnahan. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. All right, I gotta ask you, the polls are narrowing here in Minnesota. And also in Iowa last night, we had a poll that now shows in that state, the president up by seven. The DFL party chair from Minnesota, Ken Martin, just told me he's not worried. Should he be? He should be worried. Uh, America is ripe to deliver four more years to President Trump, and for the first time since 1972, we have an incredible opportunity to flip our 10 electoral votes right here in Minnesota. Okay, so you actually think, you look at those two polls from last week, which had a margin of five, vote, five percentage points for Biden ahead and three ahead for Biden, which is within the margin of error. Do you think those polls are for real, and do you think Donald Trump will do what he did last time, had this last-minute surge? The only poll that matters ultimately is that on Tuesday, November 3rd, election day. But we saw polls like this four years ago that had the president down or further down and didn't even show him coming close in Minnesota. And then he came within one and a half points. And we have been tackling this state for well over a year, talking to millions of voters. There are a lot of people in these polls that aren't the usual ones called. So we feel very encouraged by what we're hearing at the doors what we're hearing on the phones, and just the sheer number of turnout when we do events and every time the president comes to the state, you see thousands of people so energized and excited to see him. Right, and, and I will say uh, the ground game that you've had for the past year has been impressive. You have had events for the past year. You emailed reporters like me with these events. You've had accessibilities. How does this compare with what happened with the president did or then candidate Donald Trump did four years ago? It's complete night and day. In 2016, the president's team had one staffer in Minnesota. They shifted to Colorado late in the game and didn't spend very much money in this state. Compare that to where we are today. We've made more than 5 million direct voter contacts. We've been on the ground since June of 2019. Everybody within the Republican ecosystem has been working strongly together as one team, and it's really making a difference. And our ballot, no matter where you are in the state, the ticket from top to bottom, bottom to top, is the strongest that we've ever had in the Republican Party. And we're so proud of all the hard work that our great candidates have been doing and the great accomplishments America has seen under President Trump over the past four years. Let me ask you about this court ruling that came down last week uh, saying that all ballots have to be in by Election Day, when for three months we've been telling, everybody's been telling voters, hey, as long as it's postmarked by Election Day and it gets in by November 10th, it'll be counted. Why, and you praise this ruling, why do you think this is a good thing? So the concern that we had at the beginning is the Democrats were playing so many games with trying to change our election laws and using the pandemic as a reason to do it. Now, we certainly understand uh, we want everybody to be safe and healthy, but it shouldn't interfere with our ability to vote. One of the most important things we have as Americans is the right to cast our vote and have free and fair elections. Minnesota already has one of the earliest voting, no excuse, absentee ballot windows in the entire country, where basically six weeks before the election, people can request those ballots and start returning them. So it didn't make sense to us that they needed to have another seven days on the back end when folks already had six weeks. But this came in so late though, and right now, you've got 1.9 million absentees that have been requested, about 1.5 million in Minnesota have been turned in, but that means there's about 400,000 that are sitting on people's kitchen tables or God knows where. What happens, what should happen to those votes and aren't those gonna make a big difference in some other races, down ballot legislative races that are decided by just a few hundred votes? We are encouraging every single person that has a ballot sitting on their kitchen table or at home get out and vote, go in person, turn it in in person, get your vote in. This is one of the most critical elections of our lifetimes. And it's important that everybody be able to vote. My understanding from this ruling is that these ballots are gonna be separated and I'm certain there will, might be some follow up after November 3rd. But in the meantime, if folks have a ballot, please go in and return it in person and cast your ballot because everybody's vote matters. So you're not ruling out that the Republican Party might go in and want some of these ballots counted after the election? 
We need to wait and see how this manifests and plays out. But again, we're just encouraging everybody to stand up and do their civic responsibility and get out and vote. I myself am going in person on election day. That's something I've always done. But for the people like my parents or my sister and her husband that haven't, um, get their ballots in. And that's for everybody across the state. All right, Jennifer Carnahan, thank you so much for your time. I know it's going to be a busy few days and a few weeks, possibly. Uh, we will keep in touch with you throughout that. Thank you for having me.